Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with another episode in the series. It's your turn to edit this. Um, today I'm also going to show you a new effect as well. You've probably seen it in a few montages. It's, it's like basically when you, you know, no scope or quick scope, and the the screen kind of warps in and then back out. It looks really nice. Um, I used it in my last mini edit, Num. Um, if you haven't seen it, it'll be in the link below. Um, and basically, what it is is. Um, I'll go into a clip now. This clip that I'm going to be um, showing you on here is going to be in a uploadable, oh sorry, should I should say downloadable link in the description. Um, also, a few cinematics in there, so you can replicate or you know do your own version um, of what I did in the mini edit. Uh, but the effect I'm going to be showing you at the start is the warping. Um, it works better in real time, but I'm going to show you it in slow motion. So basically, this is what happens on the third kill of my mini edit. Um, the screen, as you go into zoom like that, it kind of warps out like that, and then goes back to normal. But if you, you know, if you do it fast like that, it looks really good for a final kill of the, you know, three or four piece kill streak, or even a, a game winning kill. So it's up to you. So what we're going to do is just going to remove the effect. Um, so basically, what you want to do is just drag your clip into the project folder like so. I've got mine here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the um, part, I think there's two kills before it, yeah there is, and then it's just about here for me on the timeline, where I want the warping effect to start. Um, you probably want to go just one or two keyframes before you actually want the warp to start, because we're going to you know, blend it in and then you know, blend it back out. Um, then what you want to do is you want to go over to the right hand side here in effects and presets and just type in CC lens. I think this comes as standard with After Effects. 4 on 5, if not uh, just google it's a real easy plugin to get if it doesn't come standard and then you can see it here CC lens all you need to do is simply drag that onto the clip and you'll see it go funny to start with so what we want to do over here on the left hand side, left -hand side um, turn the size all the way up to 500 to start with and then just click the stopwatch button that's for keyframing um, then what you want to do is you want to your track will probably look like this at the bottom here mine just called test 4 is click the drop down arrow you'll see CC lens click the drop down arrow again and now you're here uh, where it says size with the stopwatch should be ticked next to it so because we've set it at 500 everything before this mark where we're going to start is at normal screen resolution no bend uh, no blur so um, as the shot goes in like this we want it to start it to bend. So from this marker here, I'm going to use the keyframe buttons to go across like two or three frames like that. And about here, this is where I want the, the bend to start happening. About there. We're then going to go up to here and go to size. Now this is personal preference. I like to make it bend quite a lot if it's on a you know a nice kill. I'm going to turn that down to about let's have a look. I'm going to just do it about 90 to start with. Um, and we want the first part of the bend to go a bit slower than you know just quickly rushing out. So once you've got your first keyframe at 90, then use your your buttons up here to go to go across. In fact, let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, so what we want to do is go af across a few keyframes like this. And just because we want this bit to go slow, we're now going to set that to let's just say 105. So that first bit there, the, the first three frames is going to go from 95 to 105. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag the timeline out to where you want the warp to roughly stop. Go a bit longer than you think. About there for me will do. And now that, that's where I want it to be normal size. So once you've got it in position, go over to where the size uh, keyframer is and just type in 500. So now if we go across on the... Uh, scrub bar you'll see that it goes in warps and comes back out for me looking at that I've done it slightly too early so all I want to do is just pop these two keyframes over to the right a little bit like so so now if we do it again the warp happens in the perfect spot like that so that's how to do the CC um, lens effect um, I'm also going to be throwing a few cinematics in there so if you want to put together your own you know 10 20 second mini edit of this clip um, you know feel free to do so um, this is ZLD Fates clip so thanks to him for the clip um, once you've edited it you know feel free 
to put um, a video response so everybody can see you know what you've done with the um, with the clip and stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to be doing a, another color correction in Vegas, which replicates some of the magic bullet looks as well. Um, so you know, stay tuned for that. Um, all the links are in the description, and that's it for today, guys. Cheers.